为什么人类总是渴望得到更多？美国作家迈克伊斯特在他的新书《匮乏的大脑》提出疑问。We have an abundance of all these things that we are designed to crave, and we have no rails on these things. Everyone knows that everything is fine in moderation. Well, why can't we moderate? 这可能不完全是人类的错。伊斯特认为，当今的人们过着安逸生活，行为模式仍然像我们的祖先一样。The thing that I uncovered is this idea of the scarcity loop. So this is a three-part behavior loop that evolved naturally in the human brain to help us find food in the past, but it's now being engineered and co-opted by different industries. It's got opportunity, unpredictable rewards, and quick repeatability. 要了解匮乏循环的实际应用，伊斯特以赌场的吃饺子老虎举例。玩家有机会赢钱，不可预测的奖励，多少钱，以及重复玩游戏的机会。It's what makes social media work. It's in dating apps, and it's even in the food system. In the past, food was scarce and hard to find. Right. It made sense to overeat calorie-dense food if you had the opportunity. I mean, that was a life-saving thing. It's just that in our modern environment, it doesn't make as much sense. 伊斯特借由环游世界，看人们如何破解他们的匮乏大脑，包括深入亚马逊地区，与当地的奇曼尼部落一起生活。What kills modern people is heart disease. And this tribe in the Amazon, they don't get heart disease. It all tracks back to what they eat. 二零一七年一项研究显示，奇曼尼部落的冠状动脉心脏病发病率是全球最低。And you adopted their diet for a time. I did. It's all just these single ingredient foods. Eggs and oatmeal in the morning. I would have maybe a sweet potato and some fish at lunch with a little bit of vegetables, and then for dinner, I would have rice and some other type of meat with some vegetables. And it was a little bit boring, but I definitely started losing weight. And what seems to be powerful about foods with one ingredient is that they're more nutrient dense, and we eat less of them compared to junk food. 要持续像奇曼尼部落这样进食，在生理或经济上或许都不容易。伊斯特认为，想要达成目的，必须先付出努力。If you want to improve your life and get out of bad habits, you're going to have to do a little bit of work, but the reward. On the end of that, I think is very well worth it. TVBS 新闻综合报道。想看最完整的新闻内容，记得下载 TVBS 新闻网 APP。